the final outcome of our In the Kitchen Challenge, Alia Dalal is a health and wellness chef. So I'm guessing you made something really great and really healthy. Surprise. We're back. Say hi there again. Okay, so tell me, what do you do for a living? Yeah, so I am a health and wellness chef, which just means that I help people learn how to cook a little bit healthier. And one of the things I really love to do is show that healthy cooking doesn't need to be really complicated or expensive or all avocados and smoothie bowls and right. especially things that don't feel that good in the winter. So and you say you can just incorporate things you have at home and turn everything around and become healthy. Like what? So this little challenge is kind of how I cook at home. When I first started teaching cooking classes, which I teach at the Chopping Block, um, the cooking school downtown, uh -huh. um, I tried to think of really, you know, innovative, creative things, sure. things that people had never seen before. And then my students would be like, well, what do you cook at home? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I just look in the pantry, I look in the fridge, throw a bunch of things together, and just all eat it in a bowl, have it taste really good. And they're really? like, that's what I want to know how exactly. to do. Exactly, <laughs> teach us that. Okay, well, we're gonna actually learn today. You're you're gonna take us to school. What did you do today in our 30 minute challenge? Yeah, so let me walk you through that. So like all good recipes, I started off by sauteing onions and garlic. I smelled it. <laughs> so say, which was probably torture uh, for this segment of the audience at least, just smelling that um, without being able to taste it yet. Right. So started off with onions and garlic and then some of my challenge ingredients, I had those nice uh, San Marzano whole tomatoes mm. from Alessi, so mm -hmm. really nice and sweet. And when I saw the roasted red pepper, Peppers, the first thing that popped into my mind was romesco sauce. I don't even know what romesco sauce, do you probably know what that is? What is it? It's a nice robust sauce, right? Yeah, and you guys can probably taste it. So it's a Spanish sauce mm -hmm. that's usually made with almonds and roasted red peppers. Oh, that mm. sounds good. So Ooh. it's just a really nice flavor base. I actually used the pine nuts instead of the almonds. So you're adding a little fat to the recipe. Okay, good fat. Good right? fat. Mm -hmm. um, fat and fiber really keep you full. So especially I if you're trying know. to eat a little bit healthier, yeah. you know, you want to make sure Can that I you have a little bit while you're talking? Yeah, that's good, Val. I, I, don't, uh, yeah, I, see, I don't know what the sauce is, but it tastes yeah. delicious. Super okay. delicious. It's very robust. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. And then just for fun, I thought instead of, you know, doing a nice slice of garlic bread mm -hmm. on the side, which would be delicious, um, I decided... A lot of carbs. <laughs> a lot of carbs, yeah. exactly. And what I think, too, is oh. that, um, you know, most people don't need help eating more bread. Right. Or yeah. I've never had a student say, you know, can you please teach me how to eat more cheese? Sure, like, sure. we <laughs> got that. <laughs> so I actually took some quinoa, put some oil in the pan, oh. and then crisped it up kind of like you would fried rice. So you get that nice crunchy topping on oh top. My, I've never, we've never had a chef that's done this before. I love this because it's a nice little texture pop too because yeah. it's not, everything's like a little soft and then you get crunchy. So, so oh, good. It made it come alive. I'd like mm. it a little more. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So, okay. uh, this adds a little protein too. So especially my uh, ingredient, my surprise ingredient was those chickpeas, mm -hmm. which of course is a nice uh, plant-based protein. Yeah. My favorite, I keep like picking, I'll get all the chickpeas I can in this bowl right now. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but uh, one thing about this standard American diet, we know it's not the healthiest, right. but most of us are actually getting twice as much protein as we need um, and only half as much fiber. Hmm. Ooh. You know what? This is going to settle the debate because everybody thinks that protein, 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 but you're saying you don't need as much protein as you do fiber. Well, you definitely, I mean, protein we definitely need. You definitely want to have good protein in your diet. It right. just happens to be really abundant in our diet. Mm. You know, if you're having chicken earlier in the day or an omelet or even some other plant-based ingredients um, with the quinoa and the nuts and the chickpeas, a uh, standard serving of this might have 20 grams of protein, which for a lot of women is close to half of what you need in a day. Oh, what's wow. the downside of taking too much protein in a day? Um, a little too much, no big deal. Yeah. You know, your body can mm -hmm. just kind of use it a lot. Can be hard on your um, cardiovascular system, your kidneys, and you also want to think about what else you're getting along with that protein. Mm. So if you're getting, you know, getting most of your protein from <laughs> factory farm steaks, you know, you're going to have some a lot of saturated fat, mm -hmm. maybe antibiotics, things mm -hmm. like that. So. Mm -hmm. You don't need to think that, you know, you have to be a vegan or you have to be a vegetarian. Just start adding maybe some chickpeas, right. some lentils, mm -hmm. even in place of half of the meat in a mm. recipe. Right. I think that's important because there's protein in almost everything, even particularly when people do decide to go vegan or vegetarian. You think maybe because you're not having meat that you're losing out, but you can substitute it. Totally. And even so, another thing I did for this dish, I made that nice um, tomato sauce with the roasted red peppers. Mm -hmm. I actually ground up those 
those pine nuts to yeah. kind of mix in the sauce, give mm -hmm. it a little mm -hmm. texture. Is this kale? And then this is kale. Mm -hmm. So this is just nice, average, everyday kale. You mm -hmm. can strip it right off the stem uh -huh. like this, uh, chop it up, which is what I did, and then a lot of times I don't have fresh herbs at home. Yeah. I love the taste of them, but they are, you know, mm -hmm. kind of expensive. Right. They go bad kind of quickly. quickly. Mm -hmm. So I just, right when the dish was done, took some of that kale, stirred it in, and then the residual heat from the pan wilted it down. You get that nice pop of color, and actually those bitter ingredients like kale mm. and spinach help counteract the sweetness or acidity you find in tomato sauce a lot. Good job. <laughs> Alia, work. thank you yeah. so much thank for you. joining us. It's super in good. the kitchen, it is good, yeah. and it's healthy. Our friends at Alessi Foods wanted to send you home, Alia with a great collection of their products. Take a look, that's what you're going home with. Oh, nice. And <laughs> Angelo Caputo's Fresh Markets and Alessi have a surprise for all of our viewers right now. Go to WindyCityLive.com and click on promotions to enter the WCL Grocery Insta Win Contest for your chance to win $50 worth of Caputo's gift cards or an Alessi gift basket. You have until 2 a.m. tonight to see if you're a winner. Audience, get out your numbers because mm -hmm. one of you is going home with an Alessi basket and a $100 gift card from Angelo Caputo's Fresh All Market. Right. And how about is? number 20? There you go. You're our big winner. Yay. All right. Congratulations. Your feedback's up next. We'll be right back. Yay.